Hello, I'm Dr. Jimmy Douglas and today we'll see why is ESR increased in pregnancy. ESR or erythrocyte sedimentation rate is the rate at which the erythrocytes or RBC settle down. And normally in blood, erythrocytes remain suspended in the blood uniformly. But when blood is taken out from a vein and mixed with an anticoagulant and allowed to stand in a vertical tube, the red blood cells settle down due to gravity with a clear layer of plasma on top. ESR is a non-specific test. It cannot indicate the exact location or the cause of the disease. It is used for monitoring the course of the disease and the response of the patient to the therapy. Normal values are 0 to 10 mm in the first hour and in females 0 to 15 mm. Why is ESR increased in pregnancy? This is normal physiological process and is increased in all pregnant women. It happens due to hemodilution caused by the hormones from the placenta and the fetus which leads to fall in hemoglobin levels due to increase in plasma volume. Plasma is the liquid portion of the blood. About 55% of our blood is plasma and the remaining 45% are red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets that are suspended in the plasma. Hemodilution is an increase in fluid content of the blood leading to a lower concentration of red blood cells. ESR increases in menstruation due to loss of blood and RBCs. You have seen the normal ESR values. Why is ESR high in females? It is high in females because of a low number of RBCs. ESR is low in children and infants because of higher number of RBCs. These are physiological variations which are normal. Pathological conditions include conditions which cause an increase in ESR, tuberculosis, anemias except sickle cell anemia, rheumatoid arthritis, rheumatic fever, liver diseases. Conditions which cause a decrease in ESR, allergic conditions, sickle cell anemia, polycythemia, severe leukocytosis. For more information, visit our website erastoworldhealth.com. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.